Well, the official winter forecast is out and it's predicting a busy year for the inland northwest, but we've said that before and haven't exactly gotten what we bargained for. New at 6, meteorologist Matt Gray is here to show us why and what we should be looking for this year. That's right, Kirsten. This is the no winter forecast for the Pacific Northwest. It is about the same as the past couple of years, a greater chance for cold weather and a better chance for wet and snowy weather as well. Mostly that's because of, well, you've heard me say it a lot, our old friend La Nina. But recently, La Nina hasn't really affected us the way we would think around Spokane. In fact, we've had pretty average snow over the past couple of winters. So let's look at another climate cycle that La Nina is actually supposed to bully around and create that cold and snow. This is called the Pacific North American Pattern, the PNA. La Nina should make the negative phase of this cycle our dominant winter pattern, high pressure over the ocean, low pressures, cold and snowy weather over the northwest. Now, the positive phase of this is the exact opposite. And you know what? It looks a whole lot like the weather we have seen this fall up, of course, until today. Highs over the northwest, low pressure over the Pacific, and warm weather in the eastern U.S. as well. We need more of this negative phase than positive to see a snowy winter. Last winter is actually a really good example of when that doesn't happen. We only had a couple of those negative months on that cycle, and, well, they got pretty snowy. You fast forward to today and this big change in our weather right now, that is part of a flip in this PNA cycle from plus to minus which should hold for at least the next 10 days and give us a good start, especially up in the mountains. If you love the snow, I still think you should be pretty optimistic. We talk about these types of patterns and climate cycles every winter for a reason. They usually work out even if they didn't the last couple of times. Random chance, right? But regardless of if we end up with a lot of snow or we end up with just a little, you can count on the First Alert weather team to get you ready for whatever winter throws at us this year.